This is Alterations and Designs by Vera. I am making a cathedral length veil for a bride uh, to wear on her wedding day. And um, what I wanted to show you today is that you can use nylon clear thread on the bobbin and on the um, on top. I use clear thread for my appliques and I never have a problem with it. I know some people have problems with using uh, the clear thread on both the bobbin and on top, but you have to make the right adjustments on your machine for that. Um, when I put the clear thread on top, I loosen my tension on my top thread. I, can you see this? this thread see that's the clear thread and I have it on top and my adjustments is I have it on 3.0 which loosens the 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 thread up and it doesn't it pulls easier um, the bobbin I left the bobbin as is the bobbin has clear thread on it let me show you Okay, see, the bobbin has clear thread on it. And I never have any problems with sewing with the clear thread on the bobbin and the clear thread on tops. But it, it makes it look so nice. You don't see any, any thread on it. You don't see white thread. It's just, you don't see anything. Look at this, see? Look, see, you don't see anything. And let me turn it on the back. See, on the back, you don't see anything. And, and it's sewn, see how it's, it's sewn on and you can't, it's sewn on really well, see? And see, so you don't see anything. No threads, no threads or anything. And so when I do my appliques, which I hate hand sewing, I use the clear thread, both top and bottom, and, and I sew it on and it doesn't it doesn't leave any lines at all um, so this is a good way of doing appliques on your um, fabric especially the, the, the illusion and the see-through fabrics so you don't see anything this is how I sew it I also use a zigzag stitch a long zigzag stitch show that right Say I use a long zigzag stitch to sew my appliques on um, nothing that's close together so it'll have a stretch. But this is how it's done. And I don't even put any pins in this because I can just turn it where I want it. You see, and I, ha I don't have any problems with the clear thread. It's, it sews beautifully. Let's see here. So I want to line this up on the edge of the tool. You see, and I put my foot down, and then I'll make a little turn here, and then I'm go between these beads right here. See, it's beaded also. Then go between the beads. Then I'm gonna take and turn it again, and I line it up the way I want it to be. Put my foot down, and then I hold my fabric. See, and I just zigzag it on okay see zigzag it on see this is easy don't be afraid to use nylon thread clear thread it makes it look so much better than white thread see And I always, when I stop, I always leave my needle down in the fabric so that I can turn it where I want it. See, the needle is down. So now I can turn it. So now I'm going to turn my, my trim. And then I'll put my foot back down. And I'm going to adjust it the way I want it. And I'm going to come in between these two beads right here. Okay, between the two beads, I'm stopped. With my needle down, 
I'm going to turn again. Let's see. I'm going to turn it. And then I'm going to come back between these two beads right here. If a bead get in the way, what I do is I take, push it aside. See, I'm going to push that one aside a little bit. Okay. And now I'm going to adjust my fabric. Okay, adjust my fabric. I'm going to line it up with that. Okay, now, see, I'm going to hold it in place. Okay, that's my lesson for this right now. And I'm going to show you a, a wedding dress that I was working on that I made a, um, a, uh, made a top for. And I, and I sewed, I, I used Illusion, and I put appliques all over the top of it. And I use this method to put the appliques on, and I'm going to show you the finished product in a minute. Okay. Well, I finished the veil, and this is how it looks. I have to, I have to put, um, gather it and put the tuck combs on it for her to put in her hair. But the whole veil is a cathedral length. It's those long ones. Um... And it comes, you know, it comes, it's real long. So, and I have to gather it up on the top and put the combs in up to the top. This is the top up here. Let's see. So, I have to gather all of this and put the comb in it. So, and I'll show you the finish when I finish making the, when I finish making the veil. But I've already put all the trim on. And like I said, I use my clear thread on the top and bottom. And this is for this bride right here. I also made her, um, her dress was scrapless and she wanted some covering on her arms. So I bought some Illusion and I showed it to her. This is the Illusion that I bought. I bought some Illusion. This is that stretch Illusion. It stretched uh, four different ways and it's sheer, very sheer, see? And I sewed the appliques on. And this is it right here. You see, I sewed all of the appliques on, and when it was flat, sewed all the appliques on. And I used a clear thread on the top and the bottom. See? Top and bottom. And this comes up over her shoulders, right on the end of her shoulders, and the sleeves come down um, right above the elbow. She didn't want any trim on this on the end of the sleeves. I don't know why, but she said she wanted it plain, so so I left it plain. But this is see how the appliques are sewn on top of it? And you can't see any thread that's that's on it. So this is my lesson for today to show you how I work on my wedding dresses and some of the techniques that I use to accomplish the look that I'm trying to get. So I hope this helped you. And so this, this is the end for the day. Thank you so much and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.